This is the BTS car, the Sky Train. And this is the MRT car, the Underground Train. So how to get them and explore Bangkok with the fastest, cheapest and easiest way. Let's talk about it. Good day everyone, good day from Bangkok. So today's vlog is so interesting and important because I'm going to explain to you how to use the public transportation in order to explore Bangkok with the fastest, easiest and cheapest way. So guys, the first part will be about the BTS, the SkyTrain and the MRT underground train, how to use them, which direction to go and where do they intersect. The second part will be how to get the cards and save time and money. And then we are going to talk about the extra services that you can enjoy while you are using the public transportation. Moreover, what are the applications that you should download in order to enjoy maximum while you are using these services. So it will be, as you see, very interesting and informative vlog. Let us start from the first part. Now guys, I'm not going to complicate today's explanation. I'm gonna give you the exact thing that you should know if you want to explore Bangkok with the public transportation. The first thing that we are going to talk about is the BTS SkyTrain. You have two popular lines, the Sukhumvit line and the Silom line, which intersects at Siam station. Now the most important thing is to know which direction you are going. So concerning the Sukhumvit line, the last station is Kehya and the opposite side is Kukul. And concerning the Silom line, the last station is National Stadium and the opposite side is Bangwa. So my friends, it's so important to know while you are using the BTS which direction you are going. Once you choose which direction to go while you are using the BTS SkyTrain, once you go out, you have to choose which exit to take. That is also so important. So always check before you go out which exit you have to take. For example, now if we take exit 4, we will be at MBK Center. And how to know which exit to take? Once you are out from the BTS, there is a big sign telling you each exit which direction is heading. So my friends, as you can see, it's so nice to use the public transportation. Now we are going to take exit 4 and we are walking to MBK. One of the good things also to use the public transportation is that you have direct walks to famous malls and famous destinations like this one to MBK. And for example, if you take the MRT to Sanam Chai station, you will be walking directly to Grand Palace. So no need to take taxis, tuk-tuks, motorbikes using the public transportation is the best way to explore Bangkok. So the MRT is also one of the easiest and fastest ways to explore Bangkok. The only difference is that the BTS is the SkyTrain and the MRT is the underground train. And some of the popular intersections between the MRT and BTS is the Sukhumvit line, which is in Sukhumvit, and of course the Silom line, which is in Silom. So if you want to exchange between the MRT and the BTS, it's so easy and it's so fast. Now that you know how to use the public transportation in Bangkok, let me tell you where to buy the cars that you saw at the beginning of this vlog. Now 
before I explain how to buy the cards, let me tell you that if you don't want to buy the cards, you can get a one journey pass. Concerning the BTS, you are going to buy a one day pass and that's a card. You are going to tap it once you go inside to take the train and once you arrive to your destination, you are going to enter the card inside the machine in order to go out. And now concerning the MRT, you are going to take a token. It's the same way you are going to tap it once you are going to the train. And once you arrive to your destination, you are going to put this token inside the machine in order to go out. Now let's talk about if you want to buy these cards and to use them in order to save time and money. Now the first thing that you should know if you want to buy cards is to have your passport with you. If you don't have your passport, then you cannot buy the cards. Concerning the MRT and the BTS is the same. So once you have your passport with you, you go to one of the counters and tell them you want a card. So it's the same for the MRT and the BTS. Here you are going to pay around 180 baht to get the card. This money will be inside the card for security. After that, you can top it in order to use the public transportation. Now let's consider you bought the cards and top inside 300 Thai baht. Once you are using these cards, the amount will be deducted every journey you make. And after that, once your card is empty, you can top it again. So it's so easy. As you see, first thing you have to buy the cards. The second thing you have to top on it. And after that, once it's empty, you can top again. Now that you know how to use the public transportation in Bangkok and how to buy the cards, let me tell you what are the other services that you can use while you are using the public transportation in Bangkok. Now the first thing that you are going to realize while you are using the public transportation and once you are out at the station that there are lots of shops with lots of services like exchanging money or buying SIM card or maybe repairing your phone or a DHL service. So this is very nice once you are out at the station all these services are around you and I am sure you are going to save a lot of time once you use their services. Another good thing to know while you are using the public transportation is about these yellow boxes. So if you want to keep your items inside these boxes with so little charges and explore Bangkok of course with no problem. So keep in mind if you have items you don't want to take it around with you, you can use these yellow boxes located almost in every public transportation station. Now that you know what are the services that you can use while you are enjoying the public transportation, let me give you some tips. The first tip that I am going to give you while you are using the public transportation is to avoid the rush hour. If you are not in a hurry, always avoid the rush hour. Another tip guys, if the train is so crowded, wait, don't take it, wait the second train and I'm sure you will find a train not crowded as much as the first one.
Now, my friends, it's so secure to use the public transportation in Bangkok, but always be careful of your belongings, especially at rush hours. So keep in mind, always keep safe your belongings while you are using the public transportation in Bangkok. Now guys, this is also very important. Be careful, don't lose your cards or tokens while you are using the public transportation. And of course, you don't want to pay extra money to go out of the train. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about how to use the public transportation in Bangkok and moreover to avoid taxis, tuk-tuks and motorbikes. And of course, you know now how to buy the cars too. So thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.